Okay, so look over here. It's like water falling down when the whole plateau collapses. Um, so and down here we got some turbulence. And there we got a clamp penetrating. Um, so it looks looks pretty decent. Um, this is one node. Uh, there's no node hierarchy at all. Um, so we could of course introduce other kind of uh, other kinds of uh, secondary effects. But as a primary effect, I think uh, it could be, be useful. We can scoop the whole UV around, like in a world machine and and uh, other kinds of terrain generators. Uh, you can just set your block some arbitrary space, and, and obviously this uh, will generate a new uh, new area. Uh, I have to look into the uh, variables um, and just fine tune it. But as a base, I think uh, it seems to work pretty okay. Um, um, down there, here. So here we got a ridge. We can make a bridge here some lake here, lake here, and this is obviously what, one kilometer or something, two kilometers. So we could also pick out one specific area we like and just delete the rest and, and iterate on that, uh, project uh, the shader up on the sides here or whatever. There's uh, quite some possibilities, I think. Um, I don't know. Um, I'll look into the main uh, flow uh, because I think I would like some more swirly action going on uh, in the main uh, plateaus. Uh, I would like this one to be more organic searching down here this one search the other way um, I don't know maybe it's it's okay uh, for now uh, yeah. so anyways uh, all cell shader uh, compiled uh, I'll upload it eventually when it's, uh, it's looking uh, like I would like it to look and make some examples maybe. Um,